Justice opened a federal civil rights investigation into this week in violence in Charlottesville. Attorney General Jeff Sessions joins us from the Department of Justice. Good morning, Attorney General. Good morning. Yeah. Uh, why, when many Republicans have criticized him, was the president's first instinct not to speak out against white supremacists and neo-Nazis? Look, uh, he gave a statement at a press conference, apparently that was already scheduled on veterans' issues. It was a long statement about uh, violence, bigotry, and hatred. He condemned it. He called for unity in our country. He called on us to get along with one another and have love and affection and, and unity under the, uh, under the American but, Mr. Uh, Attorney General. Uh, Constitution. That's what he, he was strong about that. It was just shortly after the event happened within a couple of hours, actually, from him, I'm sure, knowing about it. So I thought that was strong. And yesterday, his own spokesman explicitly condemned by name uh, the Nazis but and the Ku Klux Klan. that's the spokesman, Klan. that's the spokesman, well, not that's, the president. Uh, and the but it's president the president's spokesman, uh, and uh, I'm sure he'll speak it again, but his own spokesman said that. I just think we're making them uh, too much out of this. Fair I enough, really and that's do. why we're talking to you. But it's wrong to make a moral equivalency between these two groups of protesters, is it not? Absolutely. Uh, these people, uh, uh, Heather Heyer, uh, was out protesting uh, racism and bigotry. Uh, she has a right to do that, that this individual uh, had no right to drive a car into them uh, and uh, kill people and ki killing her and injuring others, some of them very seriously. This is absolutely unacceptable. Uh, it cannot be countenance. The president has directed us to get after it. Uh, our FBI people are working on it assiduously. Our United States attorneys and civil rights divisions are focused on it. Justice will be done. We're coming after these people. It will not be tolerated. It cannot be tolerated in America. So to be clear, does the president today need to specifically condemn neo-Nazis and white supremacists? And will he do Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Uh, uh, he said it, uh, his spokesman said it yesterday, and I'm sure he'll re reiterate that uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the days to come. Actually, we don't uh, know no who said it because there wasn't a name attached to the White House statement. So there wasn't even a name attached from the White well, House. <laughs> it was a statement from the White House. Yeah. It reflected his views, and I think you'll continue you know, to hear it explicitly stated, you know, but his condemnation of the ideology behind this evil uh, uh, white supremacy, uh, uh, hatred, bigotry, ideology was condemned so, roundly in his first statement. This is believed <laughs> to be the largest white supremacist demonstration in over a decade. We went and looked at the data. And in fact, between 2001 and 2016, there were nearly three times as many fatal attacks by right wing extremists than Islamic extremists in the U.S., the Justice Department need to be doing? Justice Department is focused on that. I'm briefed three times a week by the FBI on terrorism and terrorism-related issues. That includes briefings on domestic terrorism, uh, and we will continue to focus on that. It will be a high priority of the Department of Justice. Mr. Mr. Attorney <clears throat> General, if there are any statutes of Robert E. Lee in Alabama, should they be taken down? Well, this will be decided by the state of Alabama, the uh, cities and counties well, what involved. What would you recommend? It has been my recommendation as Attorney General of the United States is that the cities and counties and states have a right to decide their monuments and that nobody should use violence to stop them uh, either way. And in, you would uh, not advocate that they should take them down? Uh, it's up to them to decide. Mr. Attorney General, um, Lindsey Graham said that uh, white supremacist groups and hate groups uh, believe they have a friend in the White House. Do you, do you believe that's the case? And if so, how does that get fixed? I don't believe that's the case. And uh, the directions I've gotten from the White House uh, is what I believe, uh, and it's what I believe, is that we will not tolerate this kind of hatred and violence. We will not allow uh, these extremist groups to obtain credibility. Morally, legally, they are un they're unjustified in their actions and approach to American democracy. It cannot be countenanced. <clears throat> Mr. Attorney General, let me ask you about your relationship with President Trump. About two weeks ago, he tweeted he called you beleaguered and very weak. How would you characterize your relationship today? 
Well, I think it's uh, considerably better. I look forward to meeting with him today. He's asked to meet with me and the FBI director to discuss Charlottesville, and uh, I appreciate that opportunity. You... Uh, and I share his vi a vision uh, for lawful America, where people can walk the streets safely without fear, that children can play outside, and this surge in murders uh, will be reduced. Uh, do you <clears throat> share his vision of what he said about uh, the leader of the Senate, Mitch McConnell? Well, Mitch McConnell has uh, uh, got a tough job. Uh, it's, it's a hard job. Uh, I know the president is frustrated about uh, the failure of the health care bill, and uh, he speaks uh, plainly uh, when he chooses to, and that's his uh, a view at this time, and he uh, has the right to express it. Mr. Attorney General, how, how long do you think you'll be in this job? Well, I intend to serve uh, as long as I can make a contribution and as long as the president wants me to serve. Uh, he, can, uh, he can have as his attorney general someone else if he chooses. Uh, he can uh, ask me to depart. But I intend to fulfill my duties. I feel good about what we are accomplishing. I feel like we are accomplishing the president's agenda in an effective and professional way, utilizing the best of our legal staff that well, we have here. Will you, one last question, will you make the issues uh, that happened in Charlottesville a priority for you and the Department of Justice? It absolutely is. Uh, there's no bigger case right now that we're working on. Every resource that's needed will be dedicated to it. Uh, we're going to study what happened uh, in, in uh, Charlottesville, see if we can uh, do better in the future. And I'll be asking that we do that kind of thing uh, today, as a matter of fact. And we'll have our top people in Charlottesville, uh, too. Mr. Thank you so much. Mr.